you say hi to everybody? Hi everybody! Beautiful sunrise Good morning Never have my eyes been so amazing The colors of the clouds Around you Reflect the beauty of Your eyes second product review and I only share products that I really love. The first one, if you haven't seen it, it was a Love Every Play Mat. I will link it in the cards above. And this one is the Stoka Trails All-Terrain Stroller. I wanted something that was all-terrain. Um, we live in an area where we back onto a trail and it's really, really bumpy. I also wanted wheels that would drive over snow. Number one pro about this stroller is the Stoka strollers have the highest, are you saying hi to Sebastian? Um, their seats sit the highest on the market of all strollers. The brand Stoka is known for its ability for your child to communicate with you. Another pro about this stroller is that it has jogging compatibility. The front wheels lock into place so you can jog with it. It is a convertible stroller, the seat comes off and you can put your high chair right on it which is so handy when you're driving around, running errands. These handlebars, how they work is, you press both buttons on either side at the same time and then you can adjust it. So the lowest setting is here, the next setting, the third setting is right here, this is probably where I usually have it in the third setting, fourth setting. And the fifth and final setting is here. Okay, this is the canopy fully extended. So this is how far of the extension you get. I love when, when the seat is upright like this, how much coverage the canopy gives. But if, the, if you're laying flat in the seat, or not you, but your peeps, then it's not as much coverage as like as is ideal. So if the sun is behind you, the sun is shining directly in your baby's eyes and you'll likely end up putting a blanket over top. You can tuck in this little beak right here to give it like a cleaner look depending on if you need it. And this goes in, you can go right here and then you would just snap it in place like that. Or you can literally just put the canopy all the way in. And I do this when I'm shopping and I'm at the stores. This is when it's in parent-facing mode. So when the seat's in parent-facing mode, it has three positions. We have the lay flat position, which is what it's in right now. We have the semi-upright position. And then we have the fully upright position. This position is so incredibly handy when you're out at a restaurant because they're sitting right upright. You can pull them right up to the table. It's awesome. Let me show you how you pull them up to the table. So you put your baby in the upright position. You remove the foot part here. You would just push this button, hold this button and pull it right out. Get that out of the way. You can put it in your basket underneath. Okay. And then you take your handlebars, you press both buttons, as I said earlier, and you just bring it right down. Then you can wheel your stroller right up to the table. So then your stroller is wheeled right up to the table. Sebastian Lamb kindly offered to be my demonstrator for today's lesson. The three point harness just goes like this. Clip this bit, push it in. Clip this piece, push it in and it locks into place. And the shoulder straps just clip right here. When you are shifting your stroller to a lay flat position or any position for that matter, you want to press this button. There's This button is on either side of the stroller, so you can press either one. You don't have to press both. If you're not bracing it with your hand and you just push it, it really goes. The good thing about this infant insert is that it's actually considered safe for laying down. The baby is completely flat, almost the exact same as the baby would be if you were to have a bassinet. So you can buy a separate bassinet seat 
for this stroller that just clips right on. It is $250 extra and it only lasts no more than six months. So for me, I didn't think it was worth it, especially because this stroller has that compatibility. There's a gray lever right here. Anything that's gray on this stroller, you can push and do something with. This one, you have to be pressing both sides. So if you press the lever on both sides, you go like this and you squeeze it, you can take the seat right off. And when the seat is off, you just pop it right back in that same spot. There we go. This is when the baby's in forward facing mode. You'd be walking this way, control the canopy like this. Forward facing mode has two recline positions. This is the first one. And then again, press that same button. And this is the second. Another thing is when your baby is forward facing, and say you have the canopy like full coverage, that's what it looks like. There is a zipper along the side right here. You would just unzip and you can open it all the way and then you can fully see your baby. As I said, this is the newborn insert. So Sebastian, sorry to do this to you. Put me back there. So if we take the newborn insert out. You're worth it. It makes it flat because it has this additional bit here. This is the next stage of insert. There's different slots where you can adjust the straps. This is where they rest their feet. Anything that's light gray has a function. So you would squeeze this, slide it into these little spots here. Then you just pull this lever and pull it down. And that's for your bigger child. So let's zip this screen back up. Let's pull the canopy closed all the way, get the most possible coverage. This bottom part of the storm cover is like a fitted sheet. So it extends and it grows with your baby. So you have a ton of coverage. This is really nice for the winter time and you can still move the seat as much as you need to. my baby was a newborn 
and I still use it now when he falls asleep in the car because I do not want to wake him up if he falls asleep. I have a cup holder just slid right into the side here. This cup holder comes separately. It's not included with the strollers. Um, it's not expensive. I purchased it on Amazon and I love, I always have liquids with me so it made the most sense. You can slide it onto the left side or the right side. This is an all-terrain stroller. The wheels are air-filled. The feature that I really make, wanted to make sure that we got with our stroller was that it drove over snow. This maneuvers snow really easily, and they say it maneuvers sand, but the front wheels do not drive over sand. We tried it when we were in Mexico. The back wheels do. So all we did was we lifted the front wheels off, and we would just pull it. The diaper bag did come with it, and it just clips right onto the stroller itself. It came with the stroller clips. Something else that I love about this stroller is it can be used as a jogging stroller. You turn the front wheels and there's, a, again, a light gray button. You push it down and the front wheels lock so they won't swivel anymore, they'll stay straight. The basket is completely waterproof, so if you're going over puddles and you have valuables in your basket, they will not get damaged so long as the puddle doesn't exceed the height of the basket, of course. The basket has reflectors on both sides. The stroller has a bar right here. It's for curb pop. So you put on, you push your foot on it. This stroller in particular is an investment. How I kind of justify it is the fact that we will only buy this stroller ever. Um, when we have another baby, I love baby wearing, so I will wear the other baby and push Kai in this stroller. And a lot of times, by the time your child gets two, your child, your toddler hates being in a stroller. I opted not to get a double stroller ever for that reason. The Stoka strollers have really great resale value. We traveled with this stroller. You can purchase the air safe bag that you would put this stroller in. We decided not to purchase it because we don't fly that often. We just wrapped garbage bags around ours to protect it from getting dirty and it was totally fine. We did four flights with the garbage bag system. One more con about this stroller is that there aren't, there isn't like a shock system in it which surprised me because they do market it as an all-terrain stroller. So anyways guys, I have a hungry baby on my hands. I honestly think that's everything I wanted to say about the stroller. I hope I didn't miss anything. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching another video. If you're new and you want to see more of this type of content, subscribe and click that notification bell to be notified when I upload another video. I upload every single week. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.